Luggage. So today in this video we will discuss about uh, Miller current, uh, Miller effect on IGBT and uh, MOSFET. So you might have heard many times that uh, this is uh, some Miller effect or Miller capacitance or Miller current and uh, you might have wondered if you are working in automotive industries and you might have wondered that uh, uh, there are certain scenarios in which uh, uh, your MOSFETs or IGBT got failed. So one of the main reasons for failure is uh, Miller effect. So in this uh, tutorial we will discuss about what is uh, uh, Miller effect and uh, how to avoid this. So on the screen what you are seeing is uh, a circuit. Uh, so this is uh, IGBT. So basically this is uh, LT spice uh, simulation uh, environment. So here you are seeing uh, IGBT or uh, you can also consider as uh, MOSFET. And uh, what you are seeing here CP, CV is uh, parasitic capacitance that is from collector to base. In case of MOSFET it, it could be drained to gate. So it doesn't matter, It's both are same. So what exactly here is happening is that uh, this is uh, DC voltage or some uh, high voltage any kind of voltage uh, from the primary side or uh, like high level which you are supposed to convert to low level so what happens is uh, during high <coughs> frequency operation maybe some 100 kilohertz or 50 kilohertz uh, in case of IGBT or 200 kilohertz in case of uh, MOSFET so what happens is uh, during high switching frequencies mm, this uh, switch keeps on keeps turning on and off so because of which what happens is uh, the voltage uh, across uh, collector to ammeter uh, uh, keeps uh, uh, keeps up and down that is from high level to low level so maximum voltage could be VCE or uh, the voltage DC voltage basically so this is the DC voltage here and this is the off voltage which is uh, collector to ammeter uh, uh, on voltage this one so what happens is uh, when uh, the voltage across the switch goes from low to high or high to low uh, there is a certain DV by DT involved where DT is uh, uh, total delay including gate driver uh, switch switch delay so this this is the delay turn on delay uh, which is often referred to as rise time or fall time so let's consider rise time uh, scenario so uh, the less the lesser is the rise time and the more is the dv the higher is the d by dt and due to which uh, our capacitance uh, uh, parasitic capacitance parasitic uh, capacitance so uh, gets charged when this sees uh, a certain level of d by dt and uh, due to this d by dt uh, this capacitance uh, gets charged and the current that flows through this is called uh, Miller current and referred to as c d by dt alright so what happens is uh, when this uh, uh, current flows through uh, this gate uh, resistance uh, the voltage is uh, developed across this gate resistance uh, positive voltage being this side and lower voltage is the difference voltage so what happens is uh, when the positive voltage is developed uh, and if this positive voltage plus VGE is uh, greater than threshold voltage of MOSFET or IGBT then this switch gets turned on and when this switch gets turned on and the current flows through this so the, this current which flows through this circuit is uh, unintentional or unintended current we want our switch to turn off but uh, because of this uh, Miller current this switch gets turned on so we want to avoid this kind of situation so how do we do that so let's go to uh, another simulation simulation so um, what we are trying to do here is uh, uh, we are considering this uh, switch as uh, IGBT and uh, uh, this voltage source is uh, uh, provided here to simulate uh, D by DT 
and this is a basic uh, RG of uh, gate resistance or base resistance and this is uh, gate voltage or base voltage but uh, this is turned off uh, because uh, we want to simulate uh, any voltage increase in the gate uh, gate pin or base pin so when we run this simulation we see our d by dt at this point and we will try to find out that uh, is there any voltage developed across uh, this gate resistance or not and we will see and we will see that uh, mosfet is turned on or not and uh, for m uh, better understanding of this uh, accuracy of this uh, simulation uh, we will try to add uh, one diode also uh, so that uh, there is no reverse current uh, flows through this so here I'm just uh, adding my uh, reverse uh, body diode so I place my body diode and uh, let's do some high voltage uh, um, let's say uh, 1200 volt uh, body diode so yeah. so now let's simulate and see if there any voltage rise or not so our simulation is completed and uh, let's see uh, the dy dt here first so as you as you can see that uh, there is a increase in dy dt so for uh, turn on so this is uh, turn on actually and this is for turn off so during turn off uh, i'm creating uh, dy dt turn off means the voltage is rising that means uh, the switch is is uh, simulating the turn off uh, behavior and this side uh, switch is simulating the turn on behavior so during turn off uh, uh, there is uh, increase in dy dt so the voltage here is uh, ri uh, rising uh, with respect to time so let's see uh, so as we can see uh, i will add one more plot here so as you can see uh, during turn off uh, there is increase in the uh, gate voltage however the duration of this voltage is uh, very very low so let's try to zoom in and understand better here i have kept for nanosecond actually so that's why we have to zoom in a lot but in practical scenarios uh, this time could be more than nanosecond so as you can see there is a voltage rising and as soon as the dy dt is uh, finished the voltage has dropped to zero volt and our mosfet is turned off again completely so uh, let's see uh, is there any uh, current through gate yes there is a, a current flowing through uh, uh, gate uh, pin that is r1 and, uh, and that current is uh, something around uh, 7 amps and let's see what is the current uh, across uh, uh, collector pin so the current uh, current across collector pin is uh, something around uh, 260 and uh, so this is uh, not recommended actually and why it is uh, 260 because uh, during this instant gate is turned on and this uh, voltage uh, which provides uh, 400 volt plus uh, is shorted and creates a uh, shoot through actually that's why this much this much current is there so to prevent this uh, what i'm trying to do is uh, uh, here i'm providing um, active miller clamp so this active miller clamp uh, is nothing but uh, providing a low impedance path uh, during turn off so this is some uh, sometimes enabled inside the uh, gate driver pin or sometimes it is uh, separately uh, designed or like integrated externally if uh, driver is driver ic is, uh, is not capable of doing so um, 
so uh, what happened here is uh, as soon as uh, this is turned off the dy dt is increased here current is flowing here and when it is turned off zero volt is coming here so this is turned on actually and this is turned on so all the current through this uh, parasitic capacitance flows through pnp uh, transistor and goes to the reference again so and the miller current uh, instead of going through gate register now follows the path of uh, low impedance path so let's see uh, what is the voltage developed here so as you can see the voltage developed uh, at that uh, gate pin is uh, 0.4 volt which is uh, quite less as compared to uh, as compared to this one uh, which is uh, uh, 20 volt here so if it is not there then it could have been 20 volt again so this uh, clearly proves that uh, here our miller circuit is 100% uh, 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 working and uh, let's see what is the current at the gate pin or uh, I, I believe almost uh, zero so again let's see so it's almost like 150 milliamps which is less so and in this case uh, this was around 7 amps so this clearly proves that uh, uh, this um, miller clamping active miller clamp is uh, working so i hope that uh, you got a clear understanding of uh, what is miller current what is uh, miller effect and uh, how to avoid this uh, miller effect and how to avoid uh, a false turn on which is the consequence of miller current so false turn off turn on and false turn off these kind of things happen because of uh, miller current and uh, we have uh, good uh, 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 gate drivers ICs uh, which are capable of doing so uh, internally but uh, if you are using uh, any gate driver IC which is not having uh, Miller uh, Miller circuit or Miller active Miller clamp then you can design something like this uh, externally